At Drinking Texas, we know it's about more than just a cold beer pressed to your lips. It's also about community. That perfect combination of good food, great music, and interesting people. That's why we're taking you to some of the best places we've found for having a beer and a great time. Places you'll want to share with your friends. So join us as we go making friends one beer at a time at the bars, breweries, and dance halls that make Texas great. This is Drinking Texas. On the count of three, we draw. Yes, sir. One. Two. Wait, what are you doing? What do you mean? You said we were having a shootout with Peter in Granger City at two. No, I said we're shooting with Peter at Granger City Brewing Company. Hey, Chip and Mike here with Peter from Granger City Brewing Company. Peter, thank you very much oh, for joining us. Thanks for coming out. Nice seeing you. Peter, Mike's got a question for you. Shoot. Now, what was the gunfight that happened in this place? Oh, that was just last weekend. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't, I don't know. He's just messing with oh, okay. I was going to say, that was messing with you. <laughs> no, so that happens every weekend. No, it's not like that. But this, this but is this, a nice town. But this building here, uh, Granger City uh, Brewing Company, a, a historic building, correct? It is, yes. It was in um, the remake of True Grit. Wait, really? Yeah. This was, yeah. If you watch the movie, um, this is the post office. Okay. So when, I forget her name, but when the, the little girl comes out of the building, yeah. that's the post office. And you'll see the side of the building here on the on oh, nice. there, and that was the blacksmith and the hardware store, and then the hanging scene was just right over there by the bank. Now you gotta watch so. this movie. <laughs> and we've had some uh, some zombie stuff here, too. So yeah. We had uh, Fear of the Walking Dead was just literally right there. Oh, wow. Did they come in and get a beer? Actually, it was funny because <laughs> Ellie... We were getting ready, it was the weekend before our grand opening, uh -huh. and we were still moving stuff around and getting ready, and uh, and she put up a sign that said, Bats uh, Crew Welcome, uh -huh. and Bats is their code name for Fear of the Walking Dead. Okay. So they all started coming in during the day, getting sodas and things like that, and then she's like, well, and then she loves zombies, so I said, I asked the assistant producer, and I said, hey, we'll bring a zombie over and we'll put him on the picture wall. Oh, nice. And uh, so, sure enough, he was doing his stunts and everything, and all of a sudden, they brought two people, brought him over, and full makeup. He was like the stunt zombie, so the real zombie. That's zone. cool. Got a picture with him, and uh, then she opened it up for him and let him drink all night. And the uh, producer just put down his card and let him drink. That's awesome. <laughs> so, that was cool. Oh, man. That's so cool. Ellie, by the way, is his lovely wife that uh, allows him to do this fun thing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, how did y'all end up in Ranger Ship? Well, Ellie got transferred to, she works at the, uh, she's a surgical nurse for the VA, mm -hmm. and she got transferred to the one up in Temple. Okay. And I was a project manager, like technology stuff, and I knew I'd be working in Austin, so we looked for a place kind of right in between the two, and we've lived in old buildings before, right. and so we loved, you know, I like high ceilings and old, old buildings, so... Um, we ended up finding this place, and then right after that, I, I checked the zoning for what you could do with this building, yeah. and I saw that it was zoned for a brewery, and I said, let's do it. Joy. And, and she's been kicking ever since. No. <laughs> yeah, no By the way, she doesn't even drink beer. She drinks a tiny bit of beer. She samples them, but if she has more than one, she calls it six. That's right. um, so, and, and you had brewery experience before? Well, um, yeah, I've, I mean, I hung out in my some breweries up in Seattle. Mm -hmm. um, Hilliard's Brewery, that was a guy I went to high school with. That was okay. Mike Hilliard and his brother. Uh -huh. um, and so I've been kicking around, you know, you know just mostly drinking. Yeah, <laughs> but I've been home for a long time. So that's good. Well, you make fantastic beer. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, speaking of fantastic beer, which one are we drinking right now? That is the Imperial Autumn Ale. Imperial Autumn Ale at the Harker Heights Beer Festival. There is rumor, rumor that we cannot confirm nor deny, won second place for this beer. So, I have witnesses, but yeah. it's not official. So it, it's official in our book. Drinking Texas is making it official, even though we weren't there. But uh, you can't prove it wrong. 
<laughs> yeah, prove it wrong. <laughs> uh, so grand opening was just last year. It was in May, yes. They have a festival, um, it's called Lake Fest, right? And you're not allowed to drink out on the streets except for uh, during uh, Lake Fest. And so they have bands and parades and stuff. It's been going on for a long time. So we chose that for our grand opening, which was probably not the best idea because <laughs> you couldn't move around in here. But um, it was good because a lot of people, you know, there was yeah. a lot of people here. And that's a good problem to have. Yeah, it, that's right. So. Yeah. With, yep, so with, since May, but we've been open since, I mean, we've had our license since uh, 2015 mm -hmm. and, you know, we were both working full time building this out. And so we would open up once or twice a year to make sure our license stayed, you know, current and everything like that. Yeah. And, uh, but really just kicked it in in May. So anyway, y'all, y'all built all this yourself? Yes. I mean, some of the electrical I had help with, but, yeah. but everything else was us. Wow. And, what about and it took us a long time because we'd work full time. Then on the weekends, I'd work building this out. Yep. And so we tried to, a lot of this stuff's from like Habitat from Humanity and stuff like that. Oh, we yeah. tried to do it as cost effective as like this right here is a door. And you can see the door handle right there. Yeah, right there. And I, I left that there deliberately because I, when I was tearing all the stuff out of here, I found a quarter. Um, and it was just been sitting there since 1902. And on one side, so it was all dirty on one side, and I flip it over, and it was it, the tail side was up. I flip it over, it's 1902. Oh wow! So I'm I was gonna put it in that. All these are pennies, except for I was gonna put that one quarter yeah. in that spot, and then I lost it. Oh. <laughs> See, so. that that quarter would have paid for this entire place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe yeah. it was worth it. All. <laughs> so yeah, we tried to just like that. The barn would, you know, that was donated oh. to us. Oh so, wow! You know, we just tried to. On the, keep it that, that's the way that's the way to do it though mm -hmm. right especially they actually live in the building as well so don't come in and try to steal beer no no we used to <laughs> don't tell them that oh. <laughs> so well, now you can come in and steal beer yeah <laughs> we used to when we first opened up um, we lived in the back half and we had this it was difficult to get licensing because the building itself was licensed all through through TABC uh -huh. as one building, the building okay. itself. So I had to get a lawyer and split it out. Yeah, but that was really the only way we could do it because I had so much work to do. I just could go back and forth, you know, right. and I didn't have to drive in. So it worked really well. And then finally, we expanded all the way out. Where do y'all live? Just on the other side of town. Oh, okay. <laughs> just over the tracks. Oh, just so on the good part of town. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so is this a full time uh, job for you? Now? It is. I went full time about. Five months ago or so. So, very cool. Um, what type of what type of beer profiles do you like? To do you like to make? I mean, around here, hoppy is not huge, right? And so we do have a lot of locals, but we do get a lot of people up. Like this beer here is, you know, not super hoppy, and but people really enjoy it, right? And if I hopped it out, I mean, people really run to the hills, right? So, um. You know, so I don't. I do more like tr like the traditional, like like the Mars and the, that mm -hmm. I'm drinking, and then a lot of in the summer we do a lot of heavy bison and lighter stuff like our uh, triple B's Bohemian Lager. Uh -huh. That's really popular, which is also up at uh, Chupacabra there in Salado, and nice. so is the heavy bison's up there too. But that's a great place. Yeah, all Chupacabra. What are they at? Like sixty cap, something oh, like something. That. Yeah, yeah. plus they're plus they're nice. Yeah, and they're great people. Too. Yeah, they're they're fantastic. Love those people. She called me up and she said, I didn't see your name on the list for Harker Heights. And I was like, well, I, I, I was, but she didn't see it. So she was like, you got to get in on that. You know, yeah. that's how she is. She, mm -hmm. she keeps, you know, tries to keep the community. So uh, what are you working on right now? Right now I have an Imperial Porter and I kind of told them the story. I might as well admit it on tape. <laughs> I was trying to make a pumpkin porter and I put in a load of pumpkin, which I thought was a load. I, you know, it was kind of an old um, recipe that I was going to try to add pumpkin and spice to it right. and things like that. So I thought, uh, well, I'll just dump this amount. So I threw in like a lot of right. pumpkin and I put pumpkin spice and everything and as it came out and I'm like, boy, I don't taste any pumpkin at all. <laughs> so, but that's what, that's in the, that's going in the bright team tomorrow, and that'll be ready yeah. by next weekend. But I think it's going to be good. Oh, it is. We uh, we got a sample. 
So here's the thing about uh, sometimes the best stuff comes from mistakes, right? Sure, sure. So start off as pumpkin spice, whatever, and turn out the coffee porter, and it's phenomenal. You know, that's kind of the nice thing about our size is that we're small, so we can try things. I'm going to leave that on y'all's <laughs> side. Small. Yeah, well, <laughs> not really, but well, <laughs> well really. Um, and so, if you know, we can try stuff, and I don't have a million kids. It's right. something that I don't want. Right. So, and that keeps us, and we're building out the kitchen right now. We're going to have a full kitchen back there, but... As soon as that's been kind of dragging me down like a boat anchor trying to uh -huh. get that going. But as soon as that happens and we get that going, then I can get back to, you know, goofing around with more beer. And that's what I like to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Try old recipes, new recipes, just stuff, making stuff up. So what type of, do you know what type of food y'all are going to We got, we're going to have pizza burgers, uh, everything. We got fryers, we got everything. Is that, are you going to be sorry? Are you going to be cooking it? Are you going to be Probably at first, because I'm cooking. the janitor and the brewer <laughs> and the... Uh, Bar back and yeah, the bar back and the, the electrician, the plumber, the everything. That's the way to do it. That's though. the way to do it. That way, that way. So I see some guitars in the window. Uh, how often do you have music here? Well, so right now we're not licensed to have um, live music, um, but only we do have. People that's where the come zombies in. come in. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> we um, we just have people. You can only do your own songs. You okay. can't do any covers okay. at all. So, because of that, um, you know, we don't have it as often as we like. Yeah. But we'll get that straightened out, and then maybe we'll have some live here. But mostly that stuff's for me. So when we're closed and I'm in a brew cycle, I just go up there and pretend I can see. Do, do you play? I do play a little bit. I'm pretty, oh, we gotta get that. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. I'm not doing that up here. <laughs> I'm, I'm more of a singer, and I'm a better drummer than I am in it. And I don't have any drums here. So. What what song do you like to sing? Uh, Come on, give us give us just a little. Uh, give us just a little. Uh, Put on the spot. I could look for something. I don't know. Oh, cool. <laughs> I mean, like right now. Right now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to run the customers out. <laughs> I gotta play it loud too. <laughs> no, I know where he's coming from. <laughs> so, uh, what about the ghosts? There are three ghosts that I was I was joking. Oh. This is awesome. Oh no! <laughs> no I'll, I'll tell you one. <clears throat> I don't think it was a. I don't know what it was, but I have security cameras up by law. You have, to have uh -huh. security cameras. So I was sitting at work, and I, I whenever a trigger would come off, and I started getting these weird little triggers going off kind of at the same time. So I started focusing in on those, and I started watching them. And then the bathroom door one time in the middle of the night went. And that was it. So, yeah. I don't know if you call that Ghost a ghost. Ghost <laughs> That's right. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Well, that's that's what they call the, that's, that's you the said, call of supernature. Yeah. yeah I mean, there you go. <laughs> you said uh, three, though. Oh, I wasn't sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops, I, I swear on camera. Sorry about that. It's all right. He'll, he'll <laughs> fucking edit it. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. Your turn. So, um... <laughs> How am I going to top that one? <laughs> oh, okay, well, all right, let's talk about the bar a little bit then. Um, what, what do you have on tap now? Right now we've got the the Marzen, which is the Granger Fest, our top selling beer. That's what I'm drinking here. And then we've got this uh, the Imperial um, Autumn Ale. And then we've got a Hefeweizen, the Triple B's uh, Big Rice Bohemian, because I, I named it after this guy, Big Rice. Yeah. <laughs> and he likes that, and that's all he drinks, so I kind of... There you go. On that. <laughs> and uh, we're not naming a lot of stuff until you know we start canning, which we do have a canning line. So. Oh, nice. Well, when is when are you expecting the can? Not to interrupt that question. Um, this question. I, as soon as the kitchen's finished and I get some more beer on tap, and then that's getting set up. Okay. It's, it's hydraulic and it's pretty cool. It's, it's negative pressure. It's it's all automated. Yeah. Like automated, but you have to put the cans on. Right. It. And it's hydraulic, and they come up negative pressure, then put the, put the lid on and hit the seamer. And we can do uh, 16 ounce and 12 ounce cans. Oh, nice. Nice. So when I get something I really like, we're going to start doing that. You sure. come up with a label design? We haven't really looked too much into that, uh, but <laughs> we are looking at some stuff. Oh, what, what I liked was the old, uh, what's that? Schmidt? No, the Schmidt with the, uh, 
the fishermen and the uh, they always had like a different outdoors and sportsman kind of thing. Mm -hmm. From up north? No, it's, it's everywhere. I'm just spacing out the name of it. It's not, it's not, uh, no. Yeah. We'll think, we'll yeah, think. But anyway, so we're kind of going something like that because this yeah. is a kind of rural area. Yeah. That's kind of our theme. So something cool like that. What are your thoughts on uh, next year going to the Great American Beer Fest? I would love to do that. That's kind of going to be what we're going to focus on next year is festivals. Okay. Festivals are fun. And I got a guy, uh, Lynn Springfield, and he, he went to the festival and he's... I love his music best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's not as popular as he used to be. I know. No. But he's so good at it. And, he, and I was like, he's got to run the booth because he's so good at it. And he was just the best friend of the booth. He's great with people. He's exciting. He loves to drink beer. So... Um, and he likes doing a festival, so I yeah. think we'll it's very cool. focus on some festivals. Very cool. Yeah, you, you should be great at yeah. it. Yeah. What do you think? You ready? All right, ready questions. questions. All right. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Just tell us the first thing that comes to your mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to start where we normally start. What was the first beer you ever had? Oh, uh, that would be Pabst Blue Ribbon. And nice. it was much, I was, it was when I was little. Mm -hmm like little because my grandpa he was a uh, professional well semi-professional golfer and really? that's yeah nice. Art of the foul, and he used to uh, drink a lot of beer and he used to give me the foam off the top yeah but then he, you know he'd give me a little bit more and that uh, and actually incidentally at age i think probably six or seven i had a beer can and I'd go to the mall where they'd sell beer cans, and I I had a legit collection. Nice. And we, you know, I we pick stuff up on the side of the roads and things like that. So I was pretty young, kind of into beer. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I had a beer can collection. I wish I still had it. So. Yeah. It'd probably be worse off now. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> so speaking of beers, what is your favorite beer that you have here, that you make? That you make. What is yeah. your favorite beer? Uh. I don't know. I really like this a lot. This, but I, I'd have to say the the Marzen is probably my favorite, just because we sell it the most. <laughs> <laughs> so how long how long have you grown the beard? Uh, this would be two months. What really? Yeah, I grew up. No, good. No, <laughs> no. Say, no. no, no. no this, whatever you whatever you're doing on that, can I get? Can I get well, I got I a little bit of that here too. So. Um, no, I think it's. Uh, Probably a year and some. Okay. It, it's funny because so in my position, I was a technical project manager, and so I worked with a lot of business people. Mm -hmm. They didn't. I didn't really let anyone know I had this going on the side, you know. Right. And but I started growing beer, and it first started a little bit, and then I let it get a little bit longer, and then every time I'd go to the the headquarters or wherever, like yeah. where all the seats were, they. I'll just freak out. They go, "Where did you? Are you living on the side of the road under the bridge?" And you know all that kind of stuff. I got. Yeah. You know. So finally, on the when I gave my uh, two weeks notice, uh, and it was getting pretty long. You know, for like you know, yeah, it was it was getting long. And uh, they said, uh, I said, well, you know, I'm just opening up this brewery, and, and they said, oh, now that makes sense. Yeah. So, but they did not like. It at all. <laughs> They're like, well, we were about to fire you anyway. So. Yeah, they bring in like, <laughs> just, the just director those, from, yeah. from Phoenix or something, yeah. and they're like, stay away from him. You know, it's, it's at the back. He's some sort of hippie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I took a lot. A lot Where's of his own beer in the bathtub? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> bathtub beer. Ooh, that's a good name for a beer. Bathtub, bathtub beer. beer. There you go. Golly. Very cool. All right, I think uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining us. This All right, thanks for coming yeah. out. I appreciate and, it. Good uh, to see you get post. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What success? Did you turn the camera on this time? <laughs> you got to roll it. Three, two, one. No, it's it's one. Two. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Two. Oh wait. Start with one. Start with one. <laughs> what are you doing? No, no, we're shooting with Peter at Granger City Brew Company. Sorry. Okay, let's do that again.